Okay, so in our last class, uh, we have seen about uh, Thevenin's theorem and its application to simplify simple uh, bridge circuits, right? In this class, we are going to see about uh, the Norton's theorem, right? So Thevenin's theorem, uh, you have an equivalent circuit, right? Any linear complex network can be simplified into a single voltage source with a uh, series resistance or series equivalent resistance called Thevenin's resistance. And in Norton's theorem, the complex network, the same complex network, we are going to replace it with a, a single current source and a parallel resistance, right? For example, yeah. In Thevenin's theorem, sorry, yeah, in Thevenin's theorem, we had a complex network and that is simplified into a, a circuit which has one voltage source and a Thevenin's equivalent resistance RTH, right? In uh, Norton's theorem, uh, we are going to have the uh, uh, equivalent circuit as a single current source, right, with a parallel resistor, right? This will be a current source, I, right? For example, if you have five amperes, this will be the same RTH, Thevenin's equivalent resistance. And here we have our points A and B. If we connect the resistor, or oh, the resistor which we need to calculate the current through, then we can apply current division rule, right? There are two parallel resistance, one current going through it, and then there is a current divider, right? So we can easily calculate the current uh, through the circuit, right? So now we'll see a simple example, right? I'll go through uh, this with a simple example. Right, you can uh, refer the notes or the, the definitions and other things in my uh, lecture notes, right? I will upload it in Google Classroom, right? Okay. <clears throat> right, now, uh, okay, we'll uh, uh, do a problem, right? We'll simplify a problem. Um, Okay, I'll draw a circuit. Okay. Here I have a battery and then there is a resistor, of course, another resistor, right, another resistor. Of course, it's a simple uh, circuit, but uh, um, yeah, we'll move to the next level, right? We'll start with the simple one. So this is 10 voltage. This be 10, this is uh, 4, this is 16, and um, we can do 16, 16, this could be 8, right? 8. So this is your A and B, right? <coughs> the question is, Calculate the current I through the 8 ohm resistor, which is connected between A and B using Norton's theorem, right? So calculate the current through I using Norton's theorem. Here, you have the same thing. First thing you have to calculate uh, I N, right? Norton's equivalent current and then R T H. RTH is the same one, right? RTH is the same. <clears throat> okay, <clears throat> right. So now, first we'll calculate, what well, we'll see how to calculate IN or Norton's current, right? I N. I N is actually 
the short circuited current between a and b right now you have an eight ohm resistor no just short circuit a and b which means you need to consider there are no resistors between a and b something like this right so right so this is a and this is b right instead of that eight ohm just short circuit it just short circuit it and the current through that one i n right so if you short circuit this one this 16 ohm right so 16 ohm parallel zero ohm am i right 16 ohm parallel zero ohm so these two combine together there will not be any current going through this 16 ohm right there will not be any current going through this 16 ohm all the current will be flowing through the outer circuit since because yeah 16 parallel zero right 16 parallel zero yeah. we have seen that whenever you have a zero parallel resistance then all the current will flow through the short circuited path or the zero ohm resistor right so if i have short circuited this one this will be simply removed from the circuit or other words <coughs> there will not be any current flowing through 16 ohm so i have 10 voltages 4 ohm in this loop so my i n will be 10 divided by 4 which is 2.5 amperes Am I right? I n will be two point five amperes. Right. So R T H is similar as I said to you earlier. R T H is the same one, right? So just open circuit this one as you did earlier for the Thevenin's theorem. So open circuit the eight ohm resistor, and then. Short circuit the battery and look at from this one. So R T H will be right. This sixteen parallel four, right? R T H between A and B will be. Yeah, if the battery is short circuited, there are two resistors, which is sixteen parallel four, right? So sixteen into four divided by sixteen plus four, which is twenty, right? So 16 into 4, 64 by 20, I could say 3.2, right? 3.2 ohms, right? So I have my RTH and the IN. Now I can substitute in my circuit, right? So this is my current source, which is I. N equal to 2.5 amperes. Then I have a parallel resistor, which is 3.2 ohms. This is my A and B. Right now, connect the 8 ohm resistor here. 8 ohm resistor. Now, as I said earlier, this is just a current divider. So the current through this loop will be this one divided by this one plus this one into the total current. So I, I will be equal to um, <clears throat> uh, yeah to the other 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 resistor right three point two divided by three point two plus eight times two point five amperes right you can simplify this one right 11.2 3.2 divided by 11.2 into 2.5 you can simplify this one using uh, a calculator right so this is how applying norton's theorem to simplify a complex circuit right so with norton's theorem your first chapter is over right so we have seen about voltages current so sorry voltage point voltage voltage difference current ohm's law thevenin's voltage law thevenin's current law and then 
we have sorry uh, kerchos current low kerchos voltage low and then uh, superposition theorem uh, thevenin's theorem and norton's theorem right so yeah okay so now we'll uh, try another uh, uh, couple of examples using uh, norton's theorem right we'll we'll try a few uh, uh, examples i'll i'll just show you how to do that one so you guys also uh, be ready with a piece of paper and pen right so uh, just uh, try to help me while i am doing the uh, questions right okay now <clears throat> okay what do Uh, 6 voltage eighty ohms then another resistor here which is twenty ohms then hundred ohms. right the question is calculate the current through 100 ohm resistor using norton's theorem right calculate the current through 100 ohm resistor using norton's theorem that's it right now um, i'll 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 tell you how to do that one first right and then you can try it yourself right so mark it as i so first thing we have to calculate is the uh, i n or the not and c colon current right so after open at after so what we need to do is just short circuit a and b right this will be i n right short circuit a and b and that current through that branch will be i n now look at here you have 40 here and then 80 20 right so what i need to do is 6 voltage means i need to calculate the oh, oh, total resistor right so 80 20 parallel and then 40 in series and if i divide that by 6 i can calculate the total current i right this is i n no so let take it as i dash i can calculate the total current i and then that i will be divided along with this 20 ohm and 8 ohm resistor am i right so to calculate i dash i need to calculate the total resistor between this 40 ohm so between the batteries right so these two are connected in parallel and this is in series right so the overall resistor will be okay we will calculate the parallel component right so 20 into 80 divided by 100 am i right 20 plus 80 <coughs> right 0.2 80 80 to 0.2 will be 16 ohms am i right right so this will be 16 ohms and this will be 40 ohm so totally we have 56 ohms so my i dash i can write it as 6 divided by 56 amperes am i right 6 divided by 56 amperes right and <coughs> sorry that is i dash now i need i n i n is actually i dash will be divided among this 80 ohm and this 20 ohm right so 20 ohm means i have to go for the opposite direction so i can write it as my i n equals 80 divided by 80 plus 20 100 into 6 divided by 56 am i right amperes so this is 0.8 right 0.8 into 6 will be 4.8 right so i can write that my i n equals 4.8 divided by 56 amperes clear 4.8 divided by 56 amperes and now i need to calculate the <coughs> 
RTH, O Thevenin's equivalent resistance. To calculate that one, I need to open circuit A and B, right? I need to open circuit A and B, and then I need to short circuit the battery. Right, look at here, if this is short circuited, 20 series and then 40, 80 are connected in parallel, right? So 40, 80 parallel plus 20, right? So 40 uh, into 80 divided by 40 plus 80, 120, right? So I could say three equals 80 divided by three ohms, right? So the overall resistance will be 80 divided by three plus 20 ohms, right? So I can say that my RTH or Thevenin's resistance is equal to, is this three? So if I put a three, this becomes 60, 80 plus 60 will be 140 divided by three ohms. Right, 140 divided by three ohms. Now I can re I can draw the I can yeah equivalent circuit, right? So this is the Norton's equivalent circuit where I have my Norton's current which is 4.8 divided by 56 amperes and then 140 divided by three ohms. Right, so this is my A and B, right? So now I have to connect that one with that 100 ohm resistor. Right, so this current will be divided among two, right? Will be divided among these two resistors. This is 100 ohm and then 140 divided by three, right? Now, uh, okay, this will be I, right? So I can write that my I equals this one, right? So 140 divided by three, divided by the total resistance, 140 divided by three plus 100 times I N 4.8 divided by 56. You can use your calculator to simplify it, right? You can use your calculator or just, yeah, take it 300, right? So 440, 140 divided by 440 into 4.8 divided by 56, right? So as much as you can simplify it, as much as you can, you will have a very small portion of the marks for the final answer, right? So don't worry about it. If, if you have a, uh, 50 marks for the whole question, just two marks will be given for the final answer. Either it could be in the fractional form or decimal form, right? So don't worry about getting the final answer. Also, you can use calculators in your end of course exams. Don't forget to bring it. Okay, don't, uh, you know, um, when you are writing the end of course exams. Right, so with that, your first chapter is over, right? There are no more things. If you practice uh, Ohm's law, Kirchhoff's current and voltage laws, superposition theorem, Thevenin's theorem, and Norton's theorem, right? So there are six uh, things. If you practice all these six, definitely you can uh, do the question, right? So you will have your first in course exam from this one, right? From the first chapter, uh, the DC theory. And then uh, you will have one full question in your end of course exam, right? That could be a, a combination of three, right? Part A, part B, part C, containing all three of these things, right? Not at theorem, Thevenin's theorem and superposition theorem, right? Okay. So just practice it yourself and we'll start the second chapter from next Wednesday. Right. Okay. Thank you. And I think uh, I will upload uh, uh, a set of questions, right? Uh, a tutorial in Google Classroom. You guys can practice it. Okay. Right. Thank you for joining with me today. And yeah, see you next week, next Wednesday.
ओके okay.